before we begin, make sure that to see that you have your Velcro on your Gore-Tex, because if you don't, then you might have minor issues here and there. But as you can tell, there's the Velcro inside the Gore-Tex and outside of the Gore-Tex. The image that appears in front of you is basically tucking in the hood into the Gore-Tex. And basically, you would just need to align the Velcro from the inside of your Gore-Tex to the hood of your Gore-Tex. And as so, you can tell that I'm just making sure that I'm aligning the Velcro with one another because if not, it's, it might end up a little sloppy. This would eventually be the final product of tucking in your Gore-Tex. And I mean, if you're having issues and it doesn't look like so, I mean, that's why you, you can always practice. I mean, practice makes perfect. Once you're done, this would be your final result. Okay, so I had completely forgotten to teach you how to get the Gore-Tex like this into a little burrito. Um, I, I forgot, I, I apologize. All right, so you first wanna begin by, by having your Gore-Tex flat on the deck. Then you would grab one half of the Gore-Tex and then fold it inside as well as the sleeve. But as you can tell, I kind of messed up a little, but that's okay. And then after you're done with that, you would do the same thing to the other side, believe it or not. I mean, isn't that crazy? <laughs> so yeah, you would just repeat the same steps. Um, you have to make sure that you flatten it out because you know sometimes Gore-Texes get enough air, I guess. Now, as you can tell, right now I'm just basically rolling the Gore-Tex into, yes, you guessed it, a burrito. What do you know? I'm sorry, I, I, I was a little sarcastic there, but you know, you, you, you get my point. As I was saying, you would have to use this string and pull it as, as good as you can, but don't, don't try to rip it because, you know, you need it. Um, basically, this string right here is what holds the Gore-Tex together. Um, just as you're looking at right now in the video and then once you're you know have that secured in I would tuck in the axis or whatever is outside of my cortex in order so that it stays all put together just like just like that I mean doesn't that look nice <laughs> 